I am Anil Kumar and here is question number 11 from 6.2 Radian Measures and Angles on Cartesian Plane as requested by my student Ellen. Question 11 is, a clock is showing the time as exactly 3 p.m. and 25 seconds. Because a full minute has not passed since 3, the hour hand is pointing directly at 3 and the minute hand is pointing directly at 12. If tip of the second hand is directly below the tip of the hour hand and if the length of the second hand is 9 centimeters, what is the length of the hour hand? Now you need to read the question properly so that you can make a diagram and then solve it. I think that's the major issue for you, Ellen, in this particular question. So let's go through this slowly, right? So let us say this is our clock. It says the clock is showing exactly 3 p.m. So when it is showing 3 p.m. exactly, they try to say that this is the hour arm which is pointing at 3 and the minute's arm is pointing at 12. Then it says the hour hand is pointing directly at 3 and the minute's hand is pointing directly at 12. If the tip of the second's hand is directly below the tip of the hour hand, that means tip of the second hand is kind of like this, directly below, right? Secondly, the time is 3 p.m. and 25 seconds. 25 seconds really mean that this is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, correct? So this is 6, this is 5, this is 4, 3. 2, 1, this is 12, right? So that is half of our clock. So the second hand is directly below this. So let me use different ink for it. And let us say this is our second hand, right? When it is directly below, it makes 90 degrees angle, correct? And if the length of the second hand is 9 centimeter, what is the length of our hand? That is the question, right? So what we will do is let the hand, our hand length be x and we know seconds hand is 9 centimeters. Okay, so that's what we know. And we also know this is a right triangle. Now, can you tell me what is this angle? Since 12 to 6 is a straight line, you can think it as 1 pi. Do you see that? So this pi is divided into 6 equal parts, right? Each one is, this is pi by 6, this is 2 pi by 6, 3 pi by 6, 4 pi by 6, 5 pi by 6, 6 pi by 6, correct? So this angle is 2 pi by 6, right? From 3 to 4, it is 2 pi by 6. So let's call this angle as theta. So the angle theta is actually 2 pi by 6 or you can say pi by 3. That is angle theta for us. So we know in this right triangle, let me say this is O, our hand, let me call it H, and this point is second S. So we have a triangle which is O, H, S. This is actually a right angle triangle. Correct? Since we have right angles, and it is actually 60, 30, 60 triangle. Since the angle is pi by 3. Do you see that? Okay. Now, in this triangle, we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse, right? So, here we know adjacent side. Adjacent is angle and 90 degrees, which is equal to x, which we need to find. And we know hypotenuse, which is 9 centimeters. Correct? So, and we know the angle theta which is pi by 3. Since we know adjacent and the hypotenuse, remember Sokotoa, right? I'm writing it again and again so that you remember this. Right? So adjacent and hypotenuse means that we have to use cosine, right? So let me use this part of the page. So we say cos of the angle theta, which is pi by 3, should be equal to adjacent side of x divided by hypotenuse of 9. So x is equals to cos of pi by 3 
times 9. So it's good practice to write 9 before cos, right? Now you can use calculator and find the answer also. But cos pi by 3 is what? You could use special triangles. I prefer to use special triangles here. So you can draw 60, 30, 90 triangle. In 60, 30, 90 triangle, you know the sides ratio is 1, 2 and square root 3 where this angle is pi by 3. So cos pi by 3 is half, right? So you can write this as x equals to 9 times half, right? Which is 4.5, right? So now you can write down that the answer, which is our hand is 4.5. Units are centimeters long. So that is how you can solve this question. I hope it, it helps. So remember Sokotoa, sine is ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, cos adjacent over hypotenuse, tan opposite over adjacent. Make a neat sketch, understand the statements, make a sketch. Now we could find the angle because we knew that our hand is pointing at 3 and the second one is pointing at 5. So it is pi by 6 plus pi by 6, 2 pi by 6 or pi by 3. Then we can use right triangle and find the sides of the triangle. So that is how it should be solved. Thank you.